we can actually confirm that what has been dominant right now is the Delta variant because it has been rapidly spreading and it has already overtaken the Alpha variant. And with the Delta cases, it accounts for 62.6% out of 3,000 samples examined by the medical sciences department compared to around 34.1% of Alpha cases. The department's director general, Dr. Sopaki Sirelak, said that the Delta variant has been found in 71 provinces across Thailand out of 77. He expressed concern that the surge of infections by the Delta variant, which is easily transmissible, also heightens the risk of virus mutations, citing last week's discovery of seven cases who were simultaneous infected who were simultaneously infected with the Delta and Alpha strains, but fortunately, the viruses have not yet mutated. However, Dr. Sufkit said that mutations of viruses are occurring all the time, and most of them are not a matter of concern, unless the mutations cause the virus to be more easily transmissible or more resistant to vaccines. As for the Beta variant, which was first detected in southern provinces, he said that 91 additional cases were found in Noratiwa province last week, as more cases were found in the neighboring provinces of Patani, Yatla, Songkla, and Patalung, and up to Chumpon province. One case was found in the northeastern province of Bungan in a worker returning from Taiwan with three family members put on high-risk watch. While in Bangkok, one case was reported last week, believed to have been infected by a relative arriving from Noratiwa province. So to keep it very simple, the Delta variant has overtaken the Alpha strain in Thailand.